Hey guys, Coach So here. Happy Wednesday. Today we have Macho Taco. And for the home and the regular programming, they are the exact same. So we'll go through, you know, movement details, tips, tricks, and uh, the movement substitutions as one um, because they are basically so similar. Be sure if you have any modifications, you put them in the description. So we know I recommend if you do it RX that you put it in the one that's a regular programming. And if you do it scaled, go into the home gym one and kind of modify that. This can also help you in the future. Some of these workouts will show up again because Ben Bergeron repeats workouts and stuff like that. So you want to know if you go back what you were doing before um, for your own records. So Macho Taco, which yesterday was Saint, um, Cinco de Mayo, so that's kind of ironic. Five rounds times AMRAP three minutes, 60 double unders, 20 jumping lunges, max, round, max rounds of dumbbell Macho Man with 50 pound dumbbells or 35 pound dumbbells for RX, resting one minute between rounds. Dumbbell Macho Man is three power cleans, three front squats, and three shoulder overhead with double dumbbells. So the movement details that we're looking at today are three movements, the double, uh, the double unders, the jumping lunges, and then the whole segment of Macho Man. For the double unders, we want to clear the station within one minute, so choose the variation that allows you to complete the station in one minute. You want to bounce like a pogo stick. A pogo stick bounces right up and bounces off its toes, you know, off that um, little point that it has. So jumping off the point of your toe and sh jumping straight up. We want to focus on keeping our body in a straight line. No piking forward or kicking, donkey kicking back. Um, if you do this in your double unders, you'll see that the movement is less efficient and increases your likelihood of tripping. So the more efficient your double under is, is staying in a straight line and that keeps you from tripping and allows you a more efficient movement. For the jumping lunges, we're going to alternate legs each rep for 10 on, reps on each side, basically. The back knee should touch the ground at the bottom, and you should reach full lower body extension at the top. Jumping lunges are designed to be vertical, although you are going forward with one foot. They're designed to be vertical, so you're jumping vertical and staying very vertical. Think about creating footprints. Um, on the ground that you can target with your feet on each rep. So think about that you have something on the ground and you're going to continue to hit that same target. You can create footprints if you want to, but just in your head you can also just, you know, picture footprints and keep in that same um, line that will keep you as vertical as possible. For Macho Man, because if you do on your drumming lunges start to like creep, you know you're starting to not be vertical because you're jumping forward or you're jumping backwards. So try to stay vertical, those footprints will keep you in place. For Macho Man, one head of the dumbbell has to touch the ground in the power clean. You can push press or push jerk. It's just a shoulder to overhead, so however you can get that weight overhead. Um, push press, push jerk, um, the weight up to get it overhead. You want to keep the weight balanced over the middle of the foot, in the middle of the body. Make sure the weight is balanced between the front of the foot and the back of the foot. So that would be midfoot. Um, here is an example of what I'm looking for in a whole round of Macho Man. Moving on to movement substitutions. For the double unders, you can do one minute practice, 90 single unders, 30 over and back dumbbell hops. Sorry about this noise. 60 line hops or 60 double taps. I recommend that anyone that is trying to get the basics of a double under do the double taps. The double taps will allow you to understand the rhythm, how high you need to go, the speed. Think of your hands as your jump rope. So if I tap and my feet are on the ground, I know I just tripped over my rope. So you want to tap your hands and have air between your feet. For the jumping lunges, you can do a step back lunges. For the double dumbbell macho man, you can do single dumbbell macho man, barbell macho man, odd object macho man, you can do kettlebell macho man, which is three Russian swings, three goblet squats, three full swings, medicine ball macho man, which is five slam balls and five squat cleans. Some tips and tricks. This should be a, this is a three minute on, one minute off. So there is a rest component, but it's not enough rest to you know have a sprint interval. So it is an interval piece, but we're not looking at this as a sprint because that's not sustainable for all these rounds. We want to move with a purpose, 
first round, you should start to feel things out. You shouldn't go out hot in your first round. You know, try these movements, see how you feel, and see where your maybe your weak point is going to be. So you know you have to make it up somewhere else. Use your first round to discover how you feel, how this workout's going to go. Stay in control. Today you got to stay in control and you have to keep moving. Break up the last power clean, taking a short break between the second power clean into the big chunk of front squats and push jerks or push press. You want to hang on to those front squats and push jerks or push press, basically the shoulder to overhead. You want to do those unbroken. The power cleans you can break up, get some time in between there. But think of it as DT, you know, putting down the last rep because you do have to, you know, power clean it up anyways. Rest as needed, but complete the third power clean and hold on to those squats and those shoulder to overhead. That is important for this macho man, and that is the point. Stay consistent with your score. You shouldn't have a really hot first round and second round, and then, you know, by the end, you're just dropping off. Stay consistent. I say this all the time. Consistency is key. Once you get through the first round, reevaluate your life, basically. Reevaluate if you should increase your rounds and reps as you go, or, you know, stay at that consistent pace. Like, that is a good pace for you. You know, take the first round, use your one minute break to, you know, get a plan and realize, figure out if what you just did is sustainable. If you went too fast, back it down. If you went too slow, you know, figure out your speed and figure out if you can increase during your round and get more reps. Sustain your efforts through all rounds. That is very important today. And again, consistency is key. I'll see you guys tomorrow with another video. And I hope to see you guys at the back of the gym. We open March 18th. If you have equipment, you must return it the 15th so we can sanitize, clean it all, and let it air out through the weekend. Then we'll be back in action at 5.30 a.m., 9 a.m., 4.30 p.m., and 6.30 p.m. This allows us enough break to sanitize to allow people to get um, out of the gym and do their workout, not have um, a bunch of people waiting for them the next one. We have enough time in between. We will sanitize. You are required as an athlete to sanitize your own equipment, and then the coaches will go back and do additional cleaning. For Merck, we are still on for the 23rd of May. So be there or be square. We have t-shirts. Pre-orders are now. You can get those t-shirts. And we have a sign-up sheet for the heat list because we can only have it nine people in each heat. So it starts at 8 a.m. Well, the heats will end at 3 p.m. So the, that list is on the members page and also on the CrossFit Bucker Beach Murph um, event. So you can sign up there. Um, be sure to do that quick. Slots are filling. I think 9 a.m. is... Um, totally filled and there's about seven ish spots as the time that I'm filming this in 10 a.m. So be cautious of that. There's about five. There's five people signed up I think for 8 a.m. So keep that in mind. Once the heat is filled, it will say this heat is um, closed and you have to pick a different heat. So if you want a certain time, be sure to get that. That's all the announcements and workout details I have for you guys today and I will see you guys tomorrow. Bye guys.